It's Chippy with Ultrabook News. We're here with the uh, Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga. So, bringing the yoga into a completely new category of devices here, as you can see. Now, ThinkPad keyboard looks looks pretty good, but I want to show you something. If I can just quickly demo this. We'll put the screen all the way back. As you can see me push that all the way back now. See what's happened to the keyboard? It's gone flat, or what's happened is the uh, background is raised up, level with the keys, and the keys are locked out. In easel mode, you can see, again, the keyboard is locked out, but let me just uh, slowly, there you go, you just about see the keyboard's going to normal mode there. So that's a nice, interesting feature, which, of course, the Yoga 13 didn't have. It was quite awkward, awkward to feel those keys behind using in tablet mode. Full HD uh, touchscreen here, which is semi-matte. I wouldn't call it completely matte. There's a little bit of a, a, a matte effect to it. It's not, uh, it's not perfect, though. Looks nice and punchy, and angles are IPS-like. No problem there. Looking around the device, Kensington lock, mini HDMI, USB 3, SD card, screen rotation lock, volume, power, and and digitizer pen here. This is an active digitizer pen. And on the other side, combo headset port, USB 3, and their uh, docking port, one dock, I think it's called. called. So you've got the new buttonless uh, trackpad here, but you've got the uh, touch point mouse control there. So in tablet mode, it's not the lightest. This is really what I call a table tablet. It's something you'd lay down. Now with the uh, digitizer here and a very, very strong, but still a little bit flimsy frame. I actually prefer those locked out uh, via duo screens for digitizer use. This is fairly good. You can push it a fair way before it actually goes back. So in this mode here, fairly good. Switch to easel mode though, and you've got a completely different digitizer experience. It's a very, very solid, uh, uh, stable uh, device in this mode. And you could use the active digitizer here and the pressure sensitivity really, really nicely. I actually quite like that. That seems pretty stable. So that's the Lenovo, Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga. Got the Core i7 Haswell 4th gen in this, uh, so assuming it's got something like a 50 watt hour battery inside, we're good for a good 7 or 8 hours of uh, battery life. Unfortunately, no removable battery, although there's a single screw down there. I wonder if you could slide something in and out of there. Let's see if we can find out for you. Chibi from Ultrabook News, thanks for watching.